Good morning. Um, we've had two patients show up uh, for an alcohol detox and uh, they were both yellow uh, in the eyes uh, and in the skin you could see it. And um, that happens in what we call jaundice. And it's really a sign of end-stage liver disease, so it's very sad, and we're hearing more about that in the news, uh, particularly with women drinking, uh, tending to, to get more liver failure and actually dying of liver failure. Cirrhosis is the other word for it. So I wanted to just talk a little bit about that. Uh, we were able to treat one of the patients here as an outpatient in our detox because it was mild and uh, he was very stable, but the other one we decided we needed to hospitalize because um, he was really medically dangerous. By the time people get liver failure, you know, their whole body is, is so ravaged by the alcohol that there's often damage to other parts of the brain and, and the blood system. Sometimes they're anemic and stuff. So <clears throat> the liver is a large organ in your, in your body on the right side, and uh, it's essentially composed of little factory cells. Each cell is an independent factory that both makes proteins that are necessary for survival, albumin and clotting proteins and other things, but also uh, it detoxifies the blood. So the blood and the body are constantly turning over new blood cells and uh, doing its normal processes of repairing the body. And, and every day the body makes ammonia and makes bilirubin, and the liver's job is to get rid of those things and de you know, detoxify those and then get rid of them through the urine. And when the liver starts failing, it just can't keep up. And so that's what the bilirubin is, which has a yellow color to it. So when uh, the patient's turning yellow, uh, it means that there's just not enough liver cells left uh, in order to detoxify uh, these normal waste products. And this becomes bad because it's, uh, it's a sign that the liver is just failing uh, and uh, the liver can't regenerate essentially. So once you start getting to that point, um, it's a bad sign and some people will even need a liver transplant. So it really is a sign of end-stage liver disease. And it's even worse than that because one of the things that the liver detoxifies is ammonia, which is a natural breakdown product. Uh, and ammonia, if it starts building up in the bloodstream, will actually cloud the, the judgment and the thinking, make people sleepy and make their memory not so good. So that can become a vicious cycle. Uh, a lot of times patients will say they have abnormal liver function tests uh, and what that means is that the liver is being actively damaged. That doesn't worry us as much because the liver, you know, you're born with over, over capacity, oversupply of liver cells. You're probably born with however many, let's say 100 million liver cells and you only need maybe 30% of that. So every day we lose a few and if you drink you lose, kill off a few every single time you drink. And that's not too bad of a problem because we're born with so many extra. But when you start getting down and down and down, uh, if you drink so much, and probably there's genetic vulnerability, uh, and it's also worse if you have hepatitis C that's also killing your liver cells, then once you get down to about 30 or 40 percent, then there just aren't enough liver cells left to do their job. So that's what our two patients had this, this week. They not only had abnormal liver tests saying there was ongoing uh, liver damage, but they actually had the bilirubin building up, which means there just aren't enough cells. So what do we do? Um, I mean, the first thing obviously is stop, you know, putting toxins and poisons in the in the body that are killing more liver cells. So this is, you know, for these guys, it's a last call that you've just got to stop. That you know, a lot of patients will say, "Oh, my doctor telling me if I don't stop drinking, I'm going to die." Uh, and most of the time, that's not actually true. But in this particular case, it's very close to true. Um, so the first step is they've just got to work their program really hard. They've got to make sure they put 100% effort into not drinking. Uh, so, because even a little bit of alcohol at that point. Uh, and then you hope that there's enough liver cells left that they can then uh, get by for the next 40, 50 years of their lives, you know, without needing a liver transplant. Um, and so that's the advice we had to give them. So it was interesting to see two people in one week. We don't usually see that many people uh with that but hopefully they'll do well